It is ridiculously cold out here today. I'm headed to the gym. Oh my gosh. It's just like, this is not a day that I could ever run outside. My car says it's 35 degrees, but it's cloudy. It's overcast and it is freezing. I'm not sure if I'm going to get on the elliptical or the treadmill this morning. You know, it usually just depends on how I feel, but I came dressed for running if I choose to run. So we'll see how that goes. There are a ton of people already at the gym. Gym's not even open yet. Gym opens up in just a minute, but hey, you know, we're all eager beavers here, ready to work out, so. I'm not alone in this. Part of trying to work out during the holidays is figuring out when the gym's going to be open, but Patrick's really good about that. Oh, no, 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 we'll, we'll put some signs up. Oh, we're gonna be yeah. open? Facebook, uh, okay. Instagram, <laughs> website. So we're gonna be open? Yes. Awesome. Open up at eight o'clock. Oh, cool. All yeah. right. Are you I coming just, to work out? Yeah. Good. I just finished my workout. Oh my God, there were so many people here, but I did an extra long time on the elliptical because I needed to make up <laughs> for some bad eating habits. I know you can't eat your way <laughs> to like good health or I'm sorry. I know you can't work away a bad diet, but I can at least burn some extra calories when I go off the wagon just a little bit. So I took care of that and... Now it's back home to get some more work done. I spent the first part of the day working on a contract, literally up at six working on a contract. So I'm gonna go home and get back to that. And I don't know, we'll see what the rest of the day holds. Rook's birthday party yes, at Cheesecake Factory. Yes, um, we're thinking now. I'm not eating. I'm trying to be good because I look. I, I, I talked to Shay, John, and we'll tell you this in just a second. But yes, what are you getting? I I ordered some fish tacos. Oh. Yes, yes, I love it. My fourth day in a row. I love fish tacos. Yes, uh, yes. You'll have to let me know how good they are. So next time I come, I can try them. Yes, sure will. Cool. Sure will. Yeah. All right. All let's, right. Let's get the birthday guy over here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I talked to Shay. Did you talk to Shay? I talked to Shay. She said she um, couldn't come because she has somebody over at the studio okay. doing something. Otherwise, she would be here. Um, she told me to have, oh, have some cheesecake for her, and I said no because I went to the gym this morning. So, yeah, that's a no. Happy birthday, John. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, that's like the best. Okay, so who again? You so check guy. out the young man. Um, it's Perkins Workit. Um, he's on Facebook, but he's a farmer. He took over the business after his grandfather. Oh. Um, but he has a whole little farm back there. Um, Where is it located? Um, I'm a Barbie Road. Can't oh. see the address. It's on Barbie Road. You go in the back, in the bottom, and he has a little, little house back there with all his vegetables. And then he uh, partners with other farmers, and they come and sell some of their like meat. Different things like that. Pumpkin. But Perkins Orchid, please check it out. Young black male. He's about in his 20s and he runs this farming business. It's really nice. Yeah, and I think a lot of younger people are getting back in the farm. Like when we were when we came along, like farming was not like the thing like, we wanted what is to that? do. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, and so I grew up in Pitt County and so it was mostly tobacco. So you knew people who worked in tobacco. So like even my cousins, like a, you know, just a couple of years older than me during the summer uh -huh. they were working tobacco uh -huh. and so my parents were just like no because there was this thing that you were gonna you know yeah yeah. Uh -huh. yeah and so yeah there is something to knowing how to grow your own food yes yes so when the when the apocalypse comes <laughs> look we know how to survive right? thank you right <laughs> i'm gonna be running from the zombies but i got my own farm <laughs> <laughs> yes. It'll be like the walking dead. Yes. <laughs> I got my own farm. I got my farm. You know, I'm just going to have a fence to keep the zombies out. Yes. 
<laughs> they make up eat up all the tomatoes. <laughs> Yeah, I, I love to go over there and, and, uh, and uh, you know support his business for one thing, and then you know just the, I'm just so proud because you yeah. know most young they're not they're just not farming, and to no. see young people farming, like yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know, and the other thing too is you see a lot of um, I don't want to call it fruitful farming, but yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Like it's like. Can I just get the basics? Like I want, you know, I want like some corn, some you growing some collards. What are you growing? Yeah, tomato, you know? uh, yeah. turnip, tomato, 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 collard greens. Yep, yeah, something yep, like that. exactly. Yeah. Not yeah. stuff that I gotta go look up before I even know what it is. Call it exotic yeah. uh, fruits and vegetables. You no, know. yeah. because the thing is, then that isn't even natural to the area. Like, what are you having to do to grow that? Right, exactly. Yeah, because they come from different islands, so they yeah. probably ain't gonna tell them what kind of shipment and stuff they got going on there. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the real basic stuff. Avocados, bananas, potatoes, cabbage. Oh, see, yeah, ba that's what I'm talking yeah, about. Basic, basic stuff. Yes, yep, yes, basic yes. stuff. Okay, I can go and eat that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so well, look, when we were growing up, we used to go pick strawberries. Yeah, oh, I mean, you yes. know, yeah. Now, I, used to, I remember doing picking apples out of the tree. Yeah, but picking I, plums. I, I, yeah, yeah plums. Yeah. yeah, there were plenty of people that had, in the neighborhood that had little plums, whatever you call yeah. them, we get plums. But yeah, my aunt had some in her backyard. Wow. Okay, yeah, but you see you from Greenville. Yep. So, yeah. Yep. There was a lady down the street that had like a fig tree. Uh -huh. And we would go over there and pick figs. Yeah. And my mom would make fig preserves. Yeah, you know, you gotta do it. You see, I, 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 just, I wish we had days like that. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm in my house. I, I'm, I'm good would, if I show up at Whole Foods or somewhere and I'm looking at some bags of grapes. <laughs> like, okay. Right. <laughs> I wish I could make me a homemade apple pie and put it in my window. You remember they do that? Oh my gosh. I bought some cute little apples though and, uh, and put them in my window sill because it just gives me that. Yeah, that kind that, of home feeling. Yes, yes. Yes. This, this is real food. Yes, yes. yes. They don't have the right colors. Yeah. Yep. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> up this morning I looked outside my window with children lighting up the Christmas tree and the snow is falling it reminds me of the good times those winters we would spend just you and me it's been such a long time but tomorrow's Christmas day and I I'm coming home to you Oh, how much I missed you Wanna spend this day with you Yes, I'm coming home to you Ooh. I can't wait to hold you We'll be sitting by the fire And watch our favorite movies on TV We can do what we want to do Walk under the moonlight And kiss under the stars It's gonna be Like we never were apart Yes, I'm on my way This time 